because uh, it's it's one of the decks that he actually won the qualifiers with. So um, yeah. yeah, I'm actually pretty sad that he didn't do it. Yeah, and uh, Six O is opening with Warlock. Uh, I think Six O's keep his Warlock secret the whole tournament, right? So now mm-hmm. the gig is up. We see it's Zoo, but I don't think Ties of Time knows because um, it hasn't I don't been shown. so like. Well, Sixo hasn't really played the Warlock deck just yet, right? But at the same time, it's Sixo. He got three legends with Zoo, so yeah. I would expect it is Zoo, no, no, no matter what. I think I think Taz of Time does as well. Uh, Snake Trap here we see. Snake Trap is very uh, Taz of Time has a bad opening hand, but uh, Snake Trap is pretty good against Zoo because. You know, Z mostly is targeting your minions and trying to maintain board control, so it's also annoying to get snake trapped. So uh, I think Tides uh, right now thinks that snake trap will be a bit too obvious, right? Uh, especially if you like, you know, just drop it like that. You're just basically gonna pass a turn. So I do like the loot hoarder that's being dropped here instead. Yeah. Well, if Tides the time you snake trap, Sixo would have gone face to test the trap first and would have realized it's snake trap. You know, in right, of course. Not, I mean, not, you're not, not really trading and just, you know, spawning three one ones for your opponent, right? Exactly. Oh, Silver Bat Patriarch. Is that a good card? <laughs> no. It actually does tank this board, but ultimately right? it's still not doing enough. Wow. I mean, it's not that bad later on, right? It's kind of like a Arcane Explosion plus a Holy Light for four yourself, right? Kind of? <laughs> not really. <laughs> I think it's. I think I, I kind of like. Tides is going I'll... for the animal companion. It's, it, I mean, there's so many ways where it can go wrong because of uh, Darwolf Alpha or, or Argus. You know, mm-hmm. where uh, they just trade better on your on your solar back. All right, so Six Soul is going to drop the two drops instead. Implosion not really getting the full effect, so it's going to hold on to it. Uh, and now we see Tides immediately reaches for the owl. Doesn't want to deal with the egg. Um, wow, Tides actually has Cult Master in this deck. Oh, it's a pretty good snake trap, I'd say. Uh huh. Oh, so maybe Tides of Time is Tides of Time's Hunter is more based on uh, it's like really like based on snake trap, right? Because you have Dark Cultist. I think he's using Knife Juggler and Unleash as well. So it's almost like hmm? this like you know one one engine kind of deck. You know, a lot of ways the snowball one ones. It's kind of reminds me of the Paladin deck, right? I mean, Snake Trap is your new muster for battle. Mm-hmm. And then you have Cult Master. Yeah, exactly. And then like Knife Juggler as well. It's like al- also a combo. Right. So Tides is uh, it's gonna play Silver back here and a loop order. And oh, is this Power of Woman gonna do some work? Not really. Let's see what what happens with this implosion here. Oh, oh my four. God! Dude, implosion. This this tournament implosion has been so good. It's just a deal four spawn four. Every wow. time I see implosion being played, it seems like four. It, it, it's like always four for some reason. You know, Wait, is I think it's higher percentage to be four. I don't know. I don't think so. But I, I guess it's just like random stuff I've noticed. You know, in my experience, but. <laughs> Wait, because if it, when it's two and three, you go like, ah, oh, okay, whatever, right? And then your four is <laughs> oh, the, the one you remember, so you go like, yep. Yeah, that's exactly. I mean, yeah. Implosion doesn't actually have uh, that big of a range. It's not like Crackle, where it's where it's like 25% to roll top. You have a fairly good chance of rolling four. It's like 33%, so. And even but three is not too bad. I don't know. Implosion is so weird. Because when I first look at the card, I go like, okay, isn't it better to like... If it's like inverse, you get what I mean? Like if it deals four damage, you spawn two imps. Uh, if it deals two damage, you spawn four imps. Wouldn't that be like a better card? Hmm, that's interesting. You, you, you Maybe, get what I mean? uh, yeah, it's like it might be more balanced overall, right? With the effect, right. but like, there, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> it's a weird, weird discussion for sure. And yeah. uh, it's kind of weird the wording on the card, right? If you deal two, you know, like how you're gonna right, write yeah, the card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, like, it would be definitely kind of confusing uh-huh. too. Yeah. It's like, deal the, I mean, it, the spawn the inverse amount of imps. <laughs> <laughs> no, the other you thing know? is also kind of weird, right? Like, why did they, why did, like, the developers decide that, yeah, two to four is the one where we should make it, right? Uh, Wouldn't it just be better, like, three every single time? Uh, I mean, some RNG, I mean, some RNG is, is probably good, just depends. Because there's right. a lot of RNG. Oh, back two. Two. So, yeah. Yeah. Wow, Smart interesting. Smart for six to keep the out. Yeah. yeah, this has the egg instead. 
Uh, and I think that's a bit better against Unleash, right? So Exactly, that's an amazing egg against Unleash, the 1-3. It can absorb okay. 3 hounds. And also, it's a card that sticks around after Explosive Trap. That's right. Now, it's actually, so it's actually, it's so weird. It's, it's wow, is that lethal? Off. It's 1 damage off. Oh, 1 damage, oh, wow. That's not a good if one. If only he went for it! He would have drawn Doomguard and ended the game next turn. Mm -hmm. He could have went for the, oh no, now he has the Doomguard here. And Possibly discard both his Doom Guard and his Powerful Woman. That way, oh, oh, no. oh. So that's good. He keeps his second Doom Guard. That's very good. I'm um, sure Six is just going to go face here and uh, try to go for Lethal next turn. I can't imagine I trying mean, to trade off with Dr. Boom. <laughs> no, no, you're not definitely not doing that. I mean, you're kind of treating Dr. Boom like a Sylvanas, where it's just board control for the next turn, right? Yeah, exactly. Oh, wow, so Sylvanas tides time is both needs... sides. Tides time needs to get something good. Maybe he's going to Cult Master and see what happens. Yeah, oh, yeah. You can at least I draw think the two only bombs. way is to cult master into something like a freezing or something like that. Hmm, I don't know what could even happen here actually. Well, not not it's not gonna happen if he's gonna use the bow. That's not gonna. Oh, okay, you can you can use Doctor Boom to remove Doom Guard and hopefully get oh, yeah, lucky in the right. box. But there's no oh. way because we know that there's a follow up Doom Guard. So. But is there a one mana creature that actually deals with the Doom Guard? A taunt maybe? <laughs> I don't think so. No. Alright, so there you go. Sixo is going to win the first game on the back of... Wow, that was a fat leopard, no. <laughs> on, the, on the back of uh, two Doom Six Guards, of course. Eight. Yeah, and uh... Very soon, and we'll see if Tide sets go a Druid or Mage, but I'm actually thinking it's going to be a coup. Oh, interesting. Oh, wow. uh, no coup, and just goes with the Druid, with the yeah. slow opening. <laughs> And I mean, look at that. Innervate and uh, and uh, Shade is a really good opener. It's one of the openers to actually win the game. Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess that's a fast opening, but his follow-up is very slow because now you have a, a Black Knight and a Force of Nature, so... Yeah, it looks like uh, Success has decided what to do. I would assume that he's definitely playing the Flame Imp. His only like question here is whether he also coins out the Voidwalker or not because the mm -hmm. Voidwalker kind of just dies for free, but... Uh, in, in some other ways, it kind of forces him to stealth. Uh, so it looks like he just decides to save the coin. And I think that's the correct decision. Right. And it's also interesting that you are running uh, Shattered Sun Cleric again, right? I mean, that card seems like it was in and out, and there's only two health. It's not that good. Yeah. But uh, I think with the Shattered Sun Cleric, uh, Tide actually has more targets to, um, to use the Keeper on, too, when he draws mm -hmm. it, I guess. Yeah, I think a large reason why the zoo list changed a lot was because of the nerf of Soulfire. Because uh, it's really that Zoo has more slots to use now after the Soulfire got taken out of their decks. Oh, so uh, there is a potential coin Shared Sun, but there, there's probably no way that's happening. Uh, the Shared Sun doesn't actually do anything here. A 4-3 no, just... here and a 3-2 is the same, right? It just trades off on the on the pan Panther, so... Looks like 6 0, maybe something like double Voidwalker. Mm -hmm. And do you trade here for the 3 2? I think so. Because, yeah, because the 3 2 is threatening your your, uh, your Voidwalkers. And this way, after the Shade kills one for free, you can abuse of the other one, maybe kill it. Mm -hmm. Oh wow, Tides is keeping his Shade hidden. I wonder if that's going to, you know, he's going to get punished for that. Um, I guess you, uh, I mean, you can't really get punished by that, right? Mm. I, I, I feel like it's, like, fine, like, that's yeah. really the only turn you're gonna do. Oh, he's gonna stealth the, uh, shade here. Yeah, I mean, the, I mean, he didn't, he didn't take out a Voidwalker and, uh, allowed Sixo to play Defender of Argus on two targets, so, right. in a way, he was kind of punished by it, but he, he did okay. grow his shade as well, so... Right, so what do you do here? I mean, you could Shattered Sun um, and actually trade with the Violet Teacher really, really well. But the Shade is still left alive on the board. And I mean, I'm looking at the Echoing Ooze and the Shattered Sun combo. That, that feels pretty good, right? Yeah, it depends if you want to save, save it here. Uh, in my opinion, I think the best move is to uh, Shattered Sun the Voidwalker and then abuse of it as well. Okay. And, and then, then just the leave out the shade. Yeah, and kill the yeah, Vine Teacher for free. That is actually a pretty uh, good turn. Yeah. 
but he goes with the move that takes out the uh, the shade. Oh, Black Knight on a 3-5 Voidwalker. So, but that, that's one way to do it, you know? That is one way to do wow. it. Wow, 6-0 is not happy about that. It's like, no, it can't no be one happy. plays around Black Knight anymore. It's like, it's so, it's so rare now, so... Has to create a whole new board from scratch here. He does manage to, to get some, you know, semblance of board control again, but um, Tides has a really good hand, has the Ancient of War and Ancient of Lore and Force of Nature, so you can either clear here or uh, drop the Ancient of Lore. Another option is just Shredder Hero Power, the three, the three, one. Looks like that's what he's doing. Save mm -hmm. your lore for the draw later and make the stronger move now. You could even um, Ancient of Lore to heal up, and I mean, look, look at like, your hand is your board is pretty good too, right? I mean, I don't I, I don't see this shredder going anywhere. So um, yeah, I feel like you could also use it. Oh, that's yeah, so a good this card, implosion. Right? If it rolls for four, just oh, oh four again. Wow, it just totally changes this game because Tides of Time doesn't have access to swipe, and he has a Direwolf Alpha in his hand. So it can propagate through the whole board of 1-1s one -one and kill everything, maybe. Wow. It just keeps on going for us. <laughs> you, know, you know, another way I look at Implosion is like, you summon four Elven Archers and they all shoot the same target. <laughs> right? Yeah, exactly. It's like summon X amount of Elven Archers, whereas <laughs> yeah. it's like they all shoot the same target. You know, oh my oh, god, oh, okay. Well, well then. Okay. So um, uh, I, I think 6 is going to trade off his board first before implosion right. because he's out of space. Looks like you so can yeah, Darwolf here and take out minions. yeah some. You need to trade out, I guess, four minions here before you implosion because you can get up to four. Ooh, killing the Shredder instead here. And it's going to be a 2-2. Two -two. It just dies for free, I guess. And now I guess you can actually implosion the um the Ancient of Lore after attacking me. Oh, wait, no, he should attack first, right? But it leave Rose four again. Wait, but four and three is the same, anyways. No, 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 because you don't get the extra imp. Oh yeah, you don't get the extra dude. Yeah, so you should yeah, uh, yeah, you should yeah. attack first. Definitely attack first. And yeah. it's, oh, and <laughs> oh, the four again, and no swipe. Wow. What is this? Oh, this is just so. This gross. is the power of implosion combined with Darrow Falfa. <laughs> Yeah, it's like the flame tongue totem almost. You know, it's not quite as strong as the flame tongue totem, but but then again, Shaman doesn't have implosion, so. This effect is so powerful. Implosion plus Darwolf Alpha. In well, that, I mean, 6 is still definitely very behind. Unless yeah. he drops like 6 0 was almost looking like he was in a hopeless scenario. And now he got definitely got back in the game. Like oh, th man. three turns ago or two turns ago before the implosions, it was looking like there's no possible way for him to win. And now it's looking pretty good, actually. You know, not, not great, but still pretty good. <laughs> Right. I mean, are you really gonna use Force of Nature to clear three one ones? No, that's not happening. Yeah. Just the <laughs> are you gonna use a Force of Nature to clear Harvest Golem? And then now are the Doom Guards coming out because Six hasn't drawn them yet. That increased the chance of Doom Guards coming out. Oh, oh my God! Through <laughs> your way to victory. <laughs> okay. But Okay, okay, so what is he thinking now? He's thinking of tapping for like, oh, if only, if only. Six so unlucky, right? About, <laughs> because he's in combo range, right? So he wants yeah. to think about if he goes all in or uh, kind of plays it safe, right? right. Uh, if he wants to play around combo, he has to clear both. Because even if you leave up Keeper, it's still 18 damage to the combo. So he has to think about this very hard. Um, looking at this, I think it's... he. he can he play for a combo? What do you think? Um, Can he kill everything? He could, but I think he has to start with... Wait. No, he has to clear everything if he plays it on combo, right? Is that even possible? I don't... No, it, it, I guess it is possible if the Shredder actually puts out something bad, right? Like, he could um, use the Harvest Golem on the har on the Shredder and then Imp on the Shredder and if it pops out something like zero attack or like yeah. one health minion, you could have traded. Wow, so that's weird. He actually just didn't play it around combo, but then didn't go face either. Kind of made like a half... Like a compromise in a way. Yeah, like just kind of like a middle ground. But is there a point in killing Keeper? Because was there was there something where he could have died to, like not, not really. quite the full combo, but you know just like two Savage Roars? I'm not sure. Two, uh, uh, what about a single Savage Roar just now? Like six plus six is twelve, and then you have like um, 
you have like a swipe and then a hero power or something. Yeah, I guess there is a little bit there. Yeah. Because Sixa lost four damage killing the keeper, which is a huge amount of damage to lose when your opponent's at five life, you know? Wow. I wonder if that's gonna cost him a lot. Because now Sixa needs to top deck something again. Uh, Doomguard wins. The no, game. two damage wins the game. Oh! Oh! oh. So, wow, well, this Doom Guard is. Look at that! <laughs> look at where it is! <laughs> this is two games in a row where 6 0 just gets Doom Guard after Doom Guard after a certain amount of turns. Yeah. The yeah. chances of it is exactly much higher than people think because once you play your early minions, you like you increase the amount of. Like, you increase your odds of getting Doom Guards later on, you know? So mm -hmm. it's like. It's always these, like, turns like. But yeah, right. it's so it's that's actually crazy. Like we see how strong the implosion plus Darwolf Alpha combo is, you know, because so we actually thought that that game looked hopeless uh, for six over, right? Especially after the Black Knight on the three five taunt, it looked so mm -hmm. bad for him. And then all of a sudden, those two top decks, two implosions in a row with the Darwolf Alpha and no swipes, just cleared out everything. But here, look at this. We have the Tides uh, Zombie Child signature opening again. Oh wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, it's going to be a Knife Juggler instead. Wow. Oh, that's a He wants to get two pings. Uh, okay. It kind of makes sense. So it looks like the Knife Juggler is going to be contested by the Haunted Creeper here. Yep. And, that and it's way... definitely going to be killed, right? I mean, do you really hit a Knife Juggler into a Creeper? Yeah, because of the pings after, I think. Okay, right. so you have like a better chance to like to, kill to it. Get, to get good pings, right? Because exactly. Uh, if you just drop your one, one, uh, two, one drops, you can get weird pings. Okay, so let's see okay. what he gets. It'll be super important oh. if he pings both. Then the juggler and... survives. Oh. No. Okay. No. Oh, no. That wasn't oh. what he wanted to see. No. Bit unfortunate for Tide's time. He actually had a pretty good chance killing both. Not quite fifty percent, but you know, pretty good. Looks like this juggler is getting taken out and. Uh, it's gonna be a pretty you know, bloody fight for board control from here on. Mm -hmm. Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? <laughs> the juggler's what, alive. What? What just happened? Wait, I he guess he valued the zombie chow more. Wait, why? Because the zombie chow can kill his minions for free. Wow, and his move pays off too. Oh wow. That's wow, crazy. that is that is really. Ho That's I, I, pretty I, advanced, exactly. That it's is like really you advanced. always, you actually. You always like kind of assume that Knife Juggler has taunt, right? But if you look right. at how like the minion combat worked out, he had a whole bunch of one twos against the zombie chow, which is actually more threatening than three one. You know, it's just he he dodged the the, the knife basically. Okay. Well, that is really interesting. I think I uh, learned something there. I mean, it is yeah. six so playing zero, right? I mean, every other yeah. zero, I would have just went like, yeah, you did a mistake. Yeah, <laughs> so exactly. that I, uh... and, and we did see it paid off huge because yeah. the knife juggler. Uh, ping, the ping was insignificant, and then, and then the zombie child would have been able to take out a whole bunch of minions, whereas the knife juggler was a three one, just take out one minion. So, mm -hmm. well, um, here, um, six zero is going to test for the mirror entity first, and yeah. he's gonna decide. Uh, he's gonna get the reward for. Yep, you are. It is mirror entity. So now yeah. he has a uh, power wall could kill the yeti, or he could uh, shut it and click and not really do much. Argus doesn't really do much. So what do you do here? Um, I think personally, I would, I mean, you can arg, if you Argus, you go face, right? Right. But it looks like a spare power while Ling and Shared Sun. That way you have two, three, twos against one, three, two. I guess not mm -hmm. two. Oh, you also get a spare part. So you might get something like a freeze or something. Yeah. No, uh, get sword on place. Okay. I guess this, the Flame Imp is going to trade off on the other Flame Imp and you're, you're going to be left up with one, three, two. Well, um, yeah, here you go. I think it's probably going to be a load up turn. Um, yeah. If it just feels so good. But uh, yeah. Sixo, on the other hand, can play a Doomguard and do this. Oh. Um, yeah, unfortunately, you can't play your Doomguard without losing a, losing two cards. But again, you kind of can think of Whirling Blades as like half. It's not a real card, right? It's kind of a, like you can't value it like a real card. Yeah, like half a card or something. Right? Exactly. So maybe he's um, losing like one and a half cards. And to be honest, I do like this. Uh, wow, Savannah is oh. a super important top deck here. Right. Kind of forces a big decision by Sixo to either Ooh. go all in. 
Oh, so the implosion. If you implosion, yeah, it, it's gonna steal a one one maybe. Oh, that would that is actually huge. That Three. is a counter. It, and it, it, it might be a counter. <laughs> okay, and so you go face counter. first. You go face first with Dim Guard, right? Right, and then do you it's see like the other team so it kills whatever uh, 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 Sylvana steals? I think, okay, we'll, we'll see what happens. Okay, so it's oh. not the Undertaker that was stolen, it is the... Oh, oh wow. it did counter it. Wow. Nice. Implosion is doing a lot of work here, huh? Implosion has been MVP in every single game so far. Yeah, just Carter's real force. So just, just, you know, it counters Sylvanas. This is just insane. <laughs> counter Sylvanas, even. Alright, so you have to ping the uh, Doomguard here, so that's kind yeah. of what you have to do. Oh, you could Nerubian Egg first, and then actually whiff. Make, make, make the uh, Mirror Entity whiff completely. Wow, really nice play by Sixo, because the Zoot might not, I mean, the Mage Zoot doesn't have any way to proc the egg. Or to oh, wow. utilize. Ta 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 ah, Taitai. Forces the seed as well. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, you can tell, like, the Echo, the echo 